people are frustrated and irritated with themselves. And also the same way myself, myself as well. I said, yes, you know what? Uh, allow, allow the devil to fox me, you know? <laughs> allow, allow him to actually, you know, hit me a left hook and then the right hook. I love that crap, hey? Isn't it right? And they're like, oh, the year, thank you toch for your genade. <laughs> you know, isn't it right? Don't we feel like sometimes in some weeks or some months or some days, you know, it is really tough, you know? It's really like, um, you know, I said to the Lord this week, and it feels like a backslider, man. You know, you got that feeling, you know, that feeling, oh, what a feeling, you know? <laughs> You know that feeling? <laughs> that feeling that lies to you? <laughs> who that who never got that feeling? Tell me who, who doesn't have that feeling? Ah, oh, good. All the lying spirits is out in this place today. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, man. Well, I said to the Lord, you know, really it's a tough week because, you know, um, we have these feelings and emotions in our lives and we have all these things happening around us, putting pressure around us, you know? And I think that what happens when we get times and it puts us into a, a corner and you know what, sometimes we just feel like, you know, stuff everything, isn't it? Why would it, it feels like that, you know, many times? I think we all do. I think we all do in some way or form. I do feel that, you know what, we have these things and at least God is there and the Bible is there, but you just really, oh, whatever, you know? Am I right when you say that? It's like you just... It's, it was like a chemist feeling of like whatever thing. It's not like you've denied God. It's not like you don't love God. It's just like you, you, you've just given up on life. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But you just at the place of limbo. You know that feeling of you just moseying on, you know, you just go. You know that feeling? I think we get that myself as well. You get that. And, but, but you still you still you still love God and you just speak to God. You still have all of these things, but you know you feel you're not really um, that first gear feels like a minus first gear. You know that you wanna he's looking for <laughs> you forget this a clutch or something. But you're in the car. <laughs> That's the plus point. <laughs> you know, stuff and I know we all know this feeling but I, I really I said to the Lord you know what I was seeking the Lord yesterday and uh, this morning as well I was really seeking the Lord and I said Lord what do you want to say and mm, God's best not to speak already mm-hmm. and because uh, I want to s- start certain things I want to preach certain things and I want to do certain things I want to you know but you get irritated because what you want to do you can't really do now you know that patience, long suffering, that thing that we don't all we all love it, don't we? <laughs> you know, so we do get frustrated and irritated concerning ourselves. Concerning ourselves. How many times people say to you, or you say to yourself, I mean, but I thought I dealt with this. <laughs> Why is this coming up again? No, no, you're all up extremely early this morning, eh? You're very early this morning. You know, um, one thing I remember, and I always say, you can't run away from yourself. Amen. You can't run away from yourself, so I would say to you, it's time for you to stop loving yourself. What do you mean? I'm not saying of a selfish nature. I'm saying stop loving yourself out of a godly nature. Isn't that right? I think a lot of players also struggle with that. If I have to perfect look, perfect this, perfect that, then things will be okay. We sit there. It's all lies, you see. You know? You pick up one kilo and like, oh, I'm so fat! <laughs> Nobody's gonna love me! One kilo! Chill! <laughs> Isn't it right? Huh? It's true! You know, this time I think, oh God, Lord, I mean, we make something so small in this big thing, in this massive thing, and it just builds up, 
and it blows up in the devil's mouth and he jumps on it. <laughs> huh? And it just makes it more and makes it more. It makes it more and more. And I said, Lord, I understand. You know, why Jesus said something this week, I was just going through stuff, going through. You know, every time I wanted to do something this week, it's like I wanted to spend more time with the Lord this week, but it didn't happen. Because I spent a lot of time with the Lord, praying a lot of time, and this week I'm like, I just couldn't get to do what I really wanted to do, because I was sidetracked. I was really sidetracked concerning natural stuff, and concerning my own thoughts, not God's thoughts. Do you understand what I'm saying? How do you catch yourself doing that? I'm just speaking as the Lord needs this moment because I asked the Lord what was to do. God said, let the spirit take over with this moment. Hey. So I said, Lord, I'm going to You see what I'm saying? Because I think that that's what we do. We are so focused on me, 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 I, I, I. You hear what I'm saying? But it's not what I'm saying. I'm not I'm still God. No, but we focus so much on our own stuff, natural wise. That we miss the whole plot and the devil deceives us. He deceives us. And we fall for that nonsense. Again. <laughs> you see, that's why I understand what the Bible says. And Jesus says this. He says, you know, um, you know what? Pray. Pray that you know, might not be tempted or, you know, or distracted. Pray. But in bulk, of the Quran says, pray and be be aware. So what we do is we don't pray and be aware. We go and do stuff and think that we're not going to be aware while we're doing stuff. So I think that's what happens is because we get consumed with many stuff in our lives and it doesn't want to work the way it works and we moan and complain and stuff. And I said, but God says, but just come to me. Just come to me because I've got the solution for you. But your flesh don't want, because I understand this week, it's because I pray a lot this week. I haven't not prayed, don't get me wrong, I pray on a regular basis. I'm just talking, whatever, talking to the Lord. I mean, I do that on a regular basis. I really do that a lot. But I said, no, but I, said, I like my intimate time with the Lord. I really love my intimate time with the Lord where I can sit at His feet for hours and just pray. I've got a man cave, you know, the man cave, the MC, you know, that thing, the man cave. Nice man cave, I locked myself up. Yeah, I did too. And I just, how do you pray? You're like, I'm sure how I pray. I sit like this, oh, what? I sit like this, this is my chair. I sit like this, and I put my feet on the chair, and I put the blanket over my God like this. And then I pray. I put my laptop on me and something, and I put my Bible here, and I pray. So I love doing it. We'll just get up and just walk in and just pray and pray and spend time with the Lord. And I didn't do it this much this week. But what are you saying, you I say, you know what? I'm not saying let's get into religion. I'm not saying let's get into works. I'm please hear what I'm saying here this morning. I don't want us to get into works because I was taught, you know, you must get up in the morning, you must pray two hours, you must do this and then, you know, because you, you can't, you must spend time with God because you know, you never know what's going to be happening the rest of the day. You really make sure that you're okay. I mean, that's how fear and condemnation is in the right. I don't want to go through to I don't want to go to that point. But what I want to say to you is that you need to make time for the Lord. I, I really understand that because I said, Lord, you know what? Because so many things happened this morning or this and what is and then things just jump up upon things jump up as things jump up, and then we get deceived by all this pressure of the world. That we need to perform, we need to work. But you want to have to work. Yes, I didn't say you should not work. But how is your work going so far for you? If I can ask you that question. Just hit the guys, hit the guys, hit the guys, hit the guys. Do you hear what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that this week I felt so disconnected because of that. Why? I said, look, and then I just start spending time with the room. And it's like suddenly this burden in this. You know, it just fell off. 
Because I spent time with the Father in His presence and His peace suddenly just came upon me. His peace just started like, the joy started coming in. And like, you know, because when you go, it's, it's like you feel spaced out. Why? Because you're consumed with your own thoughts. It's my wife, my wife asks, what's wrong with you? No, nothing. I'm just been spaced out. It's my question. I didn't know why I was feeling like that. But when I start spending time with the Lord, I'm like, now I recognize that feeling. <laughs> because I was running on empty. I was running on empty. I was really running on empty. You know, but what do you mean you want? I said, I don't understand how people can not spend time with the Lord, especially men of God. I need to be, that's what the Bible understands scripture so much more and more. It says, be continuously filled with the Spirit of God. Jude says as well, it says, build yourself up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So I understand when I just start spending a couple of hours with the Lord and I push on to my and I start reading the word and I get, oh, I get this revelation and I see this again and I'm oh, I get excited, I get so excited, oh, I get so excited, I've been nourished, I've been nourished, I've been nourished. Why? This is the bread of life. Because I'm starting to understand as much as your natural body needs food, what about the rest? Matthew 4 talks about that. Jesus was tempted in the, in the, in the desert. Man shall not live a bread or a, but by every word of God. What word? Is it reading your Bible? No. God speaks to you, encourages you, speaks to your spirit. When you start praying the Holy Ghost, the Bible says your mind does not understand the secret things of the Lord. It grows and utters, it cannot be named. So what's in you? Busy feeding your spirit. You're busy feeding your spirit and building yourself up. Why? For tomorrow, for things to happen or whatever. So I'm starting to understand that. Because what happens is, if when you, when you are just going through the motions from Monday to Friday and waiting for Sunday, it just might be too late for you. I want you to hear this morning. I don't want you to be condemned this morning. I want you to hear with your spirit and with your natural ear this morning. Because I think God puts me through this thing so I can understand more how, how, what do people feel like and stuff like that. Because I go through stuff, but I spend a lot of time with also so I don't really know how it really feels to be that way. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? But I understand now, you know, how it feels like. It feels like you're disconnected from God. It feels like, I understand what people say, I'm praying and I'm going but I don't feel like I'm getting a breakthrough. I don't feel like it's, something is happening. Why? Because you're running with your own thoughts and your own ideas concerning your life. Isn't it right? So you're running with this stuff. But I'm still talking to the Lord. I'm still doing something like, oh, whatever. whatever. Yes, Lord, whatever. And it is. And something happens. Now, let's go this way. And I found out why it says, you know what, you know, it's lock yourself up and spend some time in the secret place. Spend some time in the secret place. And that's what fills me up. That's what encourages me. You know, that's why I, I understand when people have depression. They have depression because their thought life is consuming them. Because something happens in the natural and your thought life is so totally not of God, and then you take this thing and you just mold it and mold it. You know, like a, you choose the cut, you know, like chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it. And all of a sudden, it gets you chewing it, chewing it, no one knows, no one loves it, and you probably get stuck in your throat. <laughs> and if you're so much, you die. Do you hear what I'm saying this morning? Because that's why I want us to understand. I think the Lord's also saying to me, and I had so many nice scriptures to preach about, but this is not what I want, what God had in mind, apparently, this morning. 